हेलो डर वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल कैनोपस माई सेल्फ सुमिता केवट आई एम वेब डेवलपर एट कैनोपस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट मिडल वेयर यूजिंग द जिन फ्रेमवर्क इन गो एज यू आर हियर यू आर फैमिलियर विथ गो फॉर श्योर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑन द मिडल वेयर लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज मिडल वेयर इन गो Middleware is a simple handler function which wraps around other handler function to do some pre or post processing of the API request. And why do we call it middleware? Because it sits in the middle of the web server and actual API request. We will create middleware in Jin framework. Jin is widely used for building web apps and microservices in Go language. It is an open source library and we can learn and use it from here we are using goland ide it is available for all three platforms and we can download it from jetbrains so let's start coding first download gene using go get command and import it in the file let's initialize gene's router I have used Jin's default method which contains some default middleware and loggers we can also use Jin's new method also by default Jin run on 8080 port but we can customize it no. now i want to authenticate my all apis so instead of adding authentication code in all apis let me define common middleware for it I have decided to use Jin's simple basic oath for authentication. We can write it like this. We can attach this middleware in two ways. First is Jin's use method on the router like this. Let's define welcome API which will simply print some messages. Now router will use this basic oath in all http routes let's check it start server with the command go run main.go and check the middleware in postman here is a welcome route let's run it without authentication so it return 401 unauthorized now let's check it with authentication uh, username is lorem and password is ipsum so it has written a welcome message so it is a very easy way to use middleware in jin now another method is to attach middleware on roots groups router groups are a group of a router which contains roots with the same prefix so if we want to add authentication on all those roots then we can use it
use this authorized variable here and run it. So without credential, it will returns a 401 unauthorized and with authentication, it returns 200. Now let's add another middleware which will not work on authentication but do some important stuff on every HTTP request. For example, if you want to know that which API was called on the particular error then maybe you want to add some API path log on every API request we can also use middleware for that but how it's very easy define a handler function Add code that will print the API path on every request. And use it in the use method. Let's run it again. So it has successfully run, check whether it has printed path or not. So these are the two most easy ways to use middleware in Jin. You can define any type of and any number of a middleware that you want to attach to your API requests. Hope you have got a basic idea about Jin middleware. Thank you for watching. If you think video was helpful, please share it with your friends. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment in the comment section below. Also, you can reach out to us on our Twitter handle which is mentioned below in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe for future updates.